Um, my name is Richard O'Shea. I'm 18 years old. I'm from Skull Virragon Small, Blarney County, Cork. And my project title is a biomass fired cooking stove for developing countries. My project is based on a stove which can be constructed from tin cans using the basic tools such as a knife and a pointy piece of metal stuck into a bit of wood which will to design and construct a stove which eliminates smoke production so you can burn it inside your house without the risk of smoke inhalation and basically what happens is you just don't die basically half the world's population still relies on burning biomass to cook their food this produces smoke. This smoke doesn't escape because of inadequate ventilation and the inadequate stove designs. My stove design doesn't produce any smoke, and therefore it eliminates the health risks associated with cooking with biomass indoors. What the stove consists of is an outer can with air intakes along the bottom. It also has an inner can with air intakes along the bottom as well, and air intakes along the top. So what happens is there's a gap between the inner can and the outer can. You fill the inner can with wood chips and put tinder on top. You light the, you light the tinder. That heats, that burns the top layer of wood. This turns to charcoal and heats the lower layers of wood. This dries off the flammable gases from that wood. These gases then pass up through the charcoal layer. What happens is H2O, hydrogen, water, is reduced to hydrogen. CO2 is reduced to carbon monoxide. And these flammable gases, along with the flammable gases from the wood, then combust when they come in contact with oxygen from the upper air intakes. And are left with a very clean, smokeless burn. I increased the size of the stove and placed it inside a windshield. What you have there here is air intakes. These go straight to the stove and with these simple valves, with these simple valves, you can vary the amount of air entering the stove and therefore control the stove's burn. So I want to give it to charities so they can teach people how to make it out of the resources they have, be it tin cans or clay. I was in contact with Trokra and they said that once I'm done this project, if I give them a complete design booklet, they'll test, they'll field test it in Uganda for me. I love fire, basically. And um, I was I was sick of trying to, I'm in scouts, right? And anytime there's a fire, I'm the guy who makes it. I was basically sick of cooking on a fire and huge amounts of heat being lost, huge amounts of smoke and me coughing and spluttering afterwards. So what I did was I designed basic, I designed basic stoves to see how they worked. They weren't great. I did a bit of research into the problems associated with smoke inhalation, came across the facts, decided right it's time somebody did something about this and designed my stove to solve the problem.